right everybody welcome to another rusty mats video and welcome back to my year nine algebra series so now you can see we've got three videos out already so they've been highlighted and now we're in this section here but i'm going to be making a few slight changes because on second thought as i was thinking about it i keep thinking what is it that's going to be really useful as we go on so today we're going to do formulae that's really important I've already talked about expressions and equations, so let me just highlight those. I've talked about them in a previous videos, video, sorry, but we won't be going into full equations until we're further down here, so don't worry too much about that. Um, but today we're going to do formulae, and then we're not going to go to substitution and rearrangement as yet. I want to go into brackets first, and then I'm going to double back and do these two. I have my reasons. And this is where we're at. Anyway, with welcome back, and it's nice to see you here. Without further ado, let's jump straight into Formula. Before we continue, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell so you will know as soon as a new video has landed. Okay, so here I've got some formulae set up. Now, what is a formulae? Well, it's a good use of algebra. Sometimes you, you may have... Um, uh, some expressions for formulae. Today we're going to be focusing mainly on those. And I've got some formulae here that you might be familiar with. It's mainly a combination of terms or variables that you will need to either multiply, divide, add or subtract to gain a specific result. Now I've said quite a lot there. I'm not going to write it down otherwise we'll be here forever. But I'll say that again. A formulae, basically, in my explanation, is a combination of terms and variables that you will use with any operation, multiply, subtract, add, divide, and whatever, um, to gain a specific result. Now, these, some form these are some formulas I've got here that you might be familiar with. Like, for example, you might be familiar with this first formula that says the area of a rectangle is the length times the width. So that's a formula that you know. You might be familiar with this formula here that says the area of a triangle is the base times the height divided by two or half the base times the height. You might even be familiar with this particular formula here. And I'm doing this deliberately like this because I really want to like refresh your memory on what some of these formulas do. Um, so you might remember that this formula is for the area of a trapezium where A and B are my parallel sides and then the height is the distance between those parallel sides between there. And then finally down the bottom here, you might know this formula, it's the area of a parallelogram and so we've just got base times height here. Okay, so there, there we go. So these are some formulas that we already know. What about formulae that we can make up? Because we can make up some formulae. These are the common ones. Everybody knows these ones. But we can make up some formulae. I'm yeah. going to have three different children here. So I'm going to have Andy, Beth, and Claire. Now, Andy, Beth, and Claire... They could be siblings or just friends. I don't really care. Um, but let's just say Andy is some years old. We don't know how old Andy is. But what we do know is Beth is twice Andy's age. So twice Andy's age. And Claire is three years older than uh, than Beth. Okay, so we've got Andy, he is some years old. And then you've got Beth, she's twice Andy's age. And then you've got Claire, who is three years older than Beth. And then we, we might need to write some formulae to like work out, you know, how old each of them are at any given point in time. Now, because we don't know Andy's age, we'll just say Andy is X years old. And that's the lovely thing about, um, about algebra. You don't know, call it X. Not always, but it's really good. So Andy is X years old, don't know, okay? 
Now, if Beth is twice his age, then she's going to be two times X, okay? And then if Claire is three years older than Beth, it means she's the same age as Beth plus another three. So she's going to be Beth's age plus another three. And that's it. So basically, I've now worked out a formula, three different formulas, but these are the two main ones to work out anybody's age at any given point in time. So let's say, for example, we know that Andy is 10 years old. We can use that information to work out Beth's age because she'll be 20 and we know that Claire will be 23 and so on. So really, really important about writing formulae. Okay, let's have one more. One more type of writing formulae. Let's change color. So um, you've got a leaky sink and you've got to call the plumber. And the plumber is coming over. And then the plumber says to you that my call out fee is 50 pounds. He's a very expensive plumber. He studied really hard at school so he can charge that kind of money. He's very good too. His call out fee is 50 pounds. And then on top of that, he will charge 20 pounds per hour. He'll charge you £20 for every hour or part of an hour that he is in your house. So now we need to write a formula so that we can work out how much this plumber is going to charge you depending on how long he stays at your house. Okay, well, let's go. Let's go work it out. So the money that you have to pay, this is my formula now. Well, as soon as he arrives at my door, I'm going to have to pay him £50 because that's his call out fee. So that goes in straight away. And then on top of that, if he charges £20 an hour, let's just say that each hour is X. So I'm going to say X hours. I don't know how many hours he's going to be at my house. I'm going to call it X hours. If you don't know, call it X. Not always though. But anyway, I don't know. So I called it X. And he's charging me £20 an hour. So for each hour that he is there, I'm going to have to pay him £20. So it's 20 times X because it's 20 times the number of hours he is at your house. OK, so I hope that you got that. So this is a formula that I've made up to work out um, how much money I'm going to have to pay this plumber. So if the plumber stays at my house three hours, then I'll work out that I'm going to have to pay him £50 plus three lots of 20 so that's going to be 50 pounds plus 60, which is 110 pounds. And that's how much I will owe him for that visit. All right. And that's basically it, guys. And that's the end of this video on formulae. That's what a formula is. We say formula, formula, you know, whichever. But that's the end of that video on formulae. There are formulae that you already have, which are tried and tested and proven. And then you've got formulae that you can make up depending on the question that you are doing. All right. So if you've learned something new, please give this video a like. Don't forget to subscribe um, down below and also hit that notification bell. So that as soon as any video has landed, you will know straight away. For now, until I see you on the next one.